This video explains the basic layout of a statement of profit and loss on income statement. This is normally for junior accounting years 8, 9, 10. So you would normally be given a trial balance, which is a list of accounts with their balances. By this classification, you would know which account should have a credit balance or debit balance. If we move on and say we got to complete a statement of profit or loss for the year ended, we have to put the day, 30th of June 2020 there. We also have to have the business name on top. So the first thing you've got to do is go through the accounts and try and work out which ones belong in your statement of profit and loss. To determine a profit or loss, it is based on revenue less expenses. So the first thing you've got to do is to go and find out where is our revenue. And if I go through the list, I see there's service revenue. So I'll start my business here with service revenue and put the total in. This is obviously a service rendering business. If it was a trading business, it would have had sales. I then go and look for other revenue. And I see there there's also rent revenue. So I write the heading plus other revenue, put in their rent revenue and put in the amount. I would now add my service revenue plus rent revenue. I draw a line that represents a calculation and put that in the next column next to my total revenue. Next step is to find all my expenses, because if you look at what we got to do is revenue less expenses. So I go through my list and then I see I have salaries, I have rent expense, cleaning materials, electricity, stationery, advertisement, vehicles registration, packing material, and telecommunications expense. So I put all of them under the list of expenses. I put the amounts in the first column. I then draw a line and I put it next to less expenses. Now you can also put that total there. That's not of importance. You now go total revenue, less expenses gives you the net profit. And that is a simple statement of profit and loss for junior accounting.